So there's a course in Miracles lesson, um, replacing uh, grievances with miracles. And there's quite a few along that theme, you know, pr praying for a miracle to see things differently. And there's also a little passage in the lesson saying that uh, at a certain point of spiritual involvement, you, one sees there's nothing ever to forgive. So those are the different levels. Well, actually, it is quite useful because for me, it's like it, when in the ego, um, I'm a person and then, and then I want my way and then other people don't behave the way I want them to behave. And then there's a grievance or resentment or anger. Uh, why didn't they behave the way I wanted them to behave? And um, so then, you know, there's the thing of like praying for a miracle to see it differently or, or uh, inviting in the Holy Spirit to um, have a shift in consciousness. And for me, the um, the shift in consciousness is to is to go from the a more limited perspective, the more limited perspective of the ego, the more separated uh, perspective of the ego, and for the ego, for the Holy Spirit to dissolve that, so that one goes into a more infinite witnessing uh, and a more infinite field. So, generally, how that happens for me is uh, as you pray, I pray for a miracle to see this differently, or God is the love in which I forgive. Uh, this person for behaving not the way I want them to behave, or um, you know, this person joy and peace I offer you so that God's joy and peace uh, may be offered to me. Whatever it is, um, then the uh, there's a shift in consciousness to a higher level of consciousness, and the it's like at a higher level of consciousness, it's seen at a different level. Then it's seen, oh, actually, you know, they're just doing the best they can. And it's not a big deal. And actually, it'll be fine. It's not really a big problem. And, and it dissolves in the light. Or as you keep praying, you go to more advanced levels. You see, well, you know, who, what am I that is finding it difficult? Uh, well, there's a me that finds it difficult. Well, is there an observer of the me? Okay. Oh, yeah, there is an observer of me. And what is the, obser what is the observer of me? Well, the observer of me is a nothing. So it does... Does the observer or the nothing have a resentment against this person? No, there's there's nothing there because nothing doesn't have <laughs> does it's like oh the, the can the observer be angry? Can can infinite nothingness be angry? Well, it's not able to be. And actually, no resentments do not reside at that level of consciousness. They just don't exist there. So I'd have to go. So as you as you keep praying for the miracle. You go up, you shift up levels of consciousness and you see them differently. You may see them with forgiveness and compassion. You may see that they're just human. You may also see that, oh, um, I probably saw the situation wrongly, or actually I've done that so many times, so I need to forgive them so that, uh, because they're human and I've done that. So I don't really want to hold them a, a, a grievance for that against them when I've done the same thing so many times in error. Or then you see like, well, what am I that could, what am I? And what are they? Well, let me find out what I am. What is it in me that can hold a grievance? Okay, well, is there an observer of the me? Oh, yeah, there's an observer. And is the observer, is it a thought? Is there anything there? Well, there's nothing there. And is there a grievance there? Well, there's no grievance there. And uh, and if I'm nothing, then what are they? Um, are they a person? Um, am I separated from them, or is, is there actually is there actually a them that's real? Am I real in the sense of a separated me? Am I a body, and am I thoughts? And if I'm not the body, and I'm not the thoughts, then what are they? Um, you see. So, and uh, or uh, if I'm the witnesser, can the witnesser, and if the witnesser is not a body and not thoughts? And can a can a grievance or resentment exist in that place? And if that's really what I am, then what are they? And then can a grievance, if I'm nothing and they're nothing, can a grievance exist? So you see, if I'm a, if I'm a physical body uh, and a person in separation, uh, and I see another person in separation doing something I don't want them to do. 
then yes, uh, a grievance can exist. So the miracle for me is just to, is to go from a more limited separate separated perspective to a more uh, a more um, infinite non-local perspective. But it doesn't matter. The high the higher you go, however high you go, you will see it differently. And as you keep going, you'll see it more and more differently. And that which was held will eventually disappear. And that's what happens usually when I hold a grievance. Then it's like I'm, I'm really in the person, and they're a person, and there's a resentment. And then I'll pray for a miracle to see it differently. Then I'll go up, and then it'll be like, oh, you know, they just make it. They just made a mistake, and I've made the same mistake many times. And and then I'll pray for miracles. And say, well, what am I? That sees a mistake in another person. Can I? What's the me? What's where am I? What am I? What's observing what I am? Can I find out what I am? Am I a thought? Or is there a thought there? You know, and is there an observer of that? Oh, it can't be a thought. Because the, the observer is before thoughts and before the body. So as I go into nothingness, nothingness, in, no, in nothingness, nothing exists actually. There are no resentments there. So that's the that's the miracle uh for me. So um yeah, so I, I just see I just uh, that's the way I, I would I would do it.